Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Barke Faraj Kamos and uh, today I would like to talk to you about um, <coughs> how we use our words. We can use our words either by destroying or by building relationship or building communities or unite communities so this is something that we need to look at what or how we present ourselves or how we how we let other people know what we want to what we want from them or what we want from each other because in life when we think about something sometimes there are people who don't have the process who don't use the process they think of something they say it without really filters what they want to say or if it's a good thing that they want to say this is something that is happening a lot and this is something that it needs to be it needs to be dealt with there needs to be look at it. There needs to be it needs to be set in in a way that is it working for me. Now a lot of you or a lot of us, because I'm human as well, we ourselves sometimes forget what is important in our lives. And sometimes we hurt the people that are supposed to be our backbone, our family, our spouses, our children. We use and abuse them. And this is not right. This is not the way to go about it. This is not what is supposed to be in this life. So I want us to be awakened. And I want us to remind one another that life itself it's amazing life itself is there for us to use but to be to be but like to go in a place that is great that is peace that is love and freedom for one another what you say being understanding and working together now today I want us to look at one another, to use our words in sincere, to use our words in loving, to use our words caring, to use our words wisely. Because I've seen it happening that words destroy worlds, words destroy relationship, words destroy families, words destroy children. My dear sisters and brothers, I love you for the sake of Allah and I care about you and this is why I'm here. This is why I want the best for us all. Now, it can be in all different ways. It can work your way or you can work and make it happen for everybody else and yourself. All that matters is how you use your words. I've seen it, the way people want to control other people, the way they say things, the way they demand things, the way they project their words, the way they use their words for power. Now, ask yourself, if you're a father or if you're a mother and you want your child or you want your spouse to do things now if you always you have to use the words in a way to scare them to do those things i challenge you to for one day to use your words in a positive way and see how that will affect your relationship with your spouse or children or your family because we forget how important that our words 
build foundation for the future. We don't understand the way we tell our children or the way we show them by the way we speak to one another. The most important thing is the what is what you say and that reflect on your actions, on your behavior, on your personality. If you use words that are not meaningful, that are not mindfulness, then I would suggest you can actually work on yourself by asking yourself if I'm doing is actually bringing peace or destroying even if you don't see the destruction that you're doing right now because end of the day when you see your children do you want to see you do you want to see them on their face their reaction love the smile that they smile at you or they look at you and they're inside they're wishing you die or they're wishing you'll never come home or they're wishing they can't wait their 18 so they can run away or some of them even run away before the 18. now i'm saying this because i care i'm saying this because there's problems out there and it's happening and a lot of people don't go down or don't back down because they want that control or because they want to make them fear to have the um, to make people to stay where they are or to do things the way they want them you can also use great words beautiful words encouraging words to actually get to, to actually get what you want this is something that even for a couple when you speak to your spouse, really ask yourself, these words come from loving or they come from pain? Because if they come from pain, that means you're giving pain. But if they come from love, then you're giving love. It's a choice in everything that we, that we have in this life. End of the day, you can choose to share wisdom, or you can choose to burn all the greatness in this world. And it all starts with words. And the process of it, it starts with your mind. What is your mind saying about you? Or what do you keep repeating about in your head? Because what is inside your head will come out in your words. What comes out of your words, what comes out, you go and act on it so let's be aware let's keep an eye on ourselves let's remind each other that this life we're here to unite we're here to support we're here to work on each other and we're here to work on ourselves and even if we make mistakes even if we step back and actually reflect on our own actions, on our own daily routines and see if we do things for the right reasons or if we do things for the wrong reasons and change. This is what I love about Islam. Islam, <coughs> you can make mistake and it's not allowed but it can happen because you're human, you make mistakes. But end of the day, you can go to Allah and you ask for forgiveness and Allah will always forgive. If you do hundreds of mistakes and you're still alive and you turn to Allah and you, you ask for forgiveness but then you don't repeat that mistakes, you're forgiven. But you have to understand Allah is always going to be there for you. Because end of the day, this is why Allah is not like human. As human beings, we get tired, isn't it? We don't have the same patience as God does. But then we have to have realization. What we're doing, 
when we hurt one another so badly it's like you're chipping away everything about you too so it's not like you're hurting the person and you just hurt them no you're hurting yourself too so forgive one another forgive yourself let the pain go if the person did wrong in your as your spouse or your family they did something that you don't agree with or they did something that for you it was it was really painful talk to them use your words talk to them nicely talk to them by encouraging talk to them by empower them talk to them because you love them talk to them because you care and you see their future and you see them that they are and can do so much in their life our children they are our future generation they are our future prime ministers they are future presidents we need to know the way we talk to them that's the way they'll talk to us when they grow up the way they talk to the way we talk to them that's the way they talk to other people it shows we are the roots as parents we build the foundation for our children are we building that foundation from sand or are we building that foundation from bricks and mortar or are we building the foundation within you know the with the way to sustain the winds and the whatever that is going to happen the hardship of life to say to them no matter what comes in your life you're strong and you are capable to get solution but also to resolve this problem and you can talk to me at any time in your life whatever is happening you can talk to me that it's what's needed your wife your husband when they come home to have a smile on their face to spend time together to really connect to one another to have time with your spouse is the beautiful thing we can do for them to talk to them that what's happened today give them that understanding that ear to listen to you don't need to say anything just listen that is the most beautiful thing you could ever give to your spouse don't be or don't use anger to think that it will solve the problems it won't solve the problem it will create more problems use the anger to kind of like dismiss it release it take it out deep breath in deep breath out just relax your body your mind and as we to god it will clear and say to yourself this person did something i wasn't happy about you talk to the person you you tell them and they start with the all the goodness that they give you in this life and then you tell them my dear husband or my dear wife i'm just the way you said there or the way you you did something for me it was a bit you know it made me it made me uncomfortable or it made me upset within and i would like you know to do that again by saying that the wife will be like oh i don't want you to be upset you know i don't want you to you know to this to make you upset or to make you feel uneasy uneasy for in front of me so i won't do that again because your wife or your husband if you're going to choose to be together let's make it easy for each other let's make it easy let's make it fun to be together to make it encouraging to be to talk to one another and to accept each other the way you are the way they are and being there for them thank you everybody assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh you can share this video or you can subscribe to my youtube channel and um also if you have any question or if you have a comment you can comment below take care everybody have a lovely day bye